Hey guys, it's Brandon. I'm on uh, Chess Cube. It's pretty late at night, but uh, just felt like playing a Blitz game after getting crushed by Chess Explained last night. Maybe we can play a decent game tonight. Probably not. Let's see if we get the exchange variation with the Queen's Gambit here. Usually I think it's best to take with the pawn. Yeah. This is theory so far. E3, bishop, bishop d4, bishop f5 is the best move here. It says, uh, I was talking to Chess Explained a little bit about this move. Uh, yeah, trading off the bishops is fine with me. So we'll get on with some development. Queen c2, just trying to prevent knight e4 for now. And uh, eventually I'm going to want an outpost on the c5 square here. Um, this looks okay for me here. I'm going to want a knight outpost on, uh, excuse me, on c5 in the long run. Um, yeah. Like, hmm. I could play uh, F4 here, stopping him from taking the knight, but I don't really want to do that, because of course it would be forking these two pieces, but I don't want to weaken the e-pawn so much. The general plans here are um, for me to play uh, knight to this nice outpost on c5 and hope to provoke this b6 move. Yeah, he keeps trying this out. Um... I think I should have played h3. Um, I'm not really sure what to do about this. Probably should have played h3. Um, here he plays knight e4. That looks annoying. So I'll just go back. But I do have to watch out for his kingside play. And what are we playing? Gustarian, uh, 1831. My rating's up to 1945. I had a nice bullet day yesterday. So that's my highest peak ever on chess cube. If allowed, I'd like to play h6 here. h3, actually. Um... Taking that bishop away, bringing this knight back to its defensive post. He's doubling rooks, but for what purpose, I'm not sure. I'm going to try to play knight into, uh, knight into c5. Knight takes, queen takes, offerings, offering the queen trade. Queen trade is fine with me. Get a nice rook outpost on c5. Try to play against these weaknesses, maybe b4, b5, minority attack, try to create some queenside weaknesses. He can't play b6 yet because it just drops a pawn to queen takes. Um, so, uh, a little bit sloppy uh, over here, I think. But uh, maybe he's really trying to stick a piece on e4. But as long as this bishop is stuck here on this square, which it is for the moment, he can't, he's, they're sort of blocking the rook's view of the e4 square. So he's going to have to do some knight maneuvering. Yeah, now he's going to try to bring the bishop back. But, uh, yeah, and now he's going to try to plant a piece on e4. But as long as I have protection of e4, 
Can I play this? Now I really have a lot of protection on e4. Good. It's just creating weaknesses for me. This is exactly what you're hoping to get out of this opening. Okay, now he has to play pawn takes, yeah. You have to be careful about him swinging a rook in. I'm going to bring this knight over here. I'm a little bit ahead on the clock. Some pressure on the e4 pawn. Uh, he gets rid of the weakness. But creates a new one. Okay, he's opening his bishop. Now he has to. Well, he could take with the knight. This I'm fine with. Get rid of any checkmating threats. Um. Any threats here with this knight? Right here. Right here. I don't think so. Let's just put my, our knight up here onto this nice square. And uh, I'm threatening knight to d, d6. So that's a big threat he's going to have to deal with. Just, uh, well, not winning it. Winning this light square bishop. Even if it's not, because uh, he'll have to play rook to rook to c8 to defend the bishop. Ah, pinning the knight. Very nice. Um, I'll just do this. The knight was pinned to the unprotected bishop. Anyway, I think he made a mistake to take with the queen there. Maybe he was afraid of getting mated, but he needed to try to get some with his kingside space to try to get in here and checkmate me before my queenside broke through. Um, knight d6 is still a threat, and that knight would be really annoying for him on that square. Yeah. Maybe he plans to play rook to d... d6 after... Yeah. I'm just going to defend this knight. I have a big time advantage and stop knight a4, anything like that. Ah, this isn't going to work. This is a desperation move here. Oh, I can't. Um, actually, let's kick this knight so I can try and get a rook on the 7th. He, just, he doesn't have any time. He's attacking my g point, but... I mean, this, this loses a pawn right now. Seems like desperation. Mm -hmm. And everything's defended. Oh, maybe not. Well, I have this move. I mean, this doesn't do anything for me except to try to win on time. As long as I keep some pawns, I can win on time here. So I went on time, even though I made a mistake with uh, giving up uh, that pin. 
Yeah. Really shouldn't have... Really shouldn't have taken my knight just becomes too weak and he just puts three three pieces on it. So should have been more conscious of that. But I got a time win. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that game. And uh, we'll see you next time.